I'm not sure who figured out how to infuse weed with food, but it might have been the greatest idea ever. What they failed to realize is that weed has a mind of its own. I'm almost a thousand percent convinced. It's uh, always tempting you to take more, which is a trap because once you do, whew, once you do, you're about to go on a world of hurt. Once you're under the influence, your perception of time kind of goes out the window. A few hours could pass by in your mind, but it's only been at 20 minutes. That's the part that leads to people's unfortunate demise. The instructions say take one piece and wait between 60 to 90 minutes. Once you have that first piece, time flies by, so you think. And other pieces are talking to you like, you know, come on, man. Eat some more. Come on, don't be a pussy. Let's get this party started. Most people at this point usually give in, and then boom, you have the second piece. But at that point, the first piece hits, and you're like, oh shit, this is a bad idea. And that's when panic mode sets in. Before you were at a good place, but now with that second wave, it'll be, you know, counting the fibers in your carpet, contemplating if time is real, you know, talking about the universe, it's like, are aliens real? Are aliens like us? Are reptilians on this earth? Poof, and further and further you go down the rabbit hole. My first time wasn't very enjoyable, you know, I was a, I was a novice to the game. My friend Bobby got these chocolate bars. The instructions said wait 20 minutes, but have half a stick. I was like, nah, forget that, Yo, give me the whole stick, you know, I ain't no bitch. Okay, so I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Maybe a half hour passes by. Maybe I feel pretty good. Yo, give me some more. After that second piece, that first piece came knocking at my door. Like my limbs started to go numb. My heart started racing. My eyes were getting low. I was like, whoa, what's happening right now? This can't be real. I was looking at Bobby. I'm like, yo, he looks, he looks okay. Let me just relax now because I don't want to panic and then freak him out. So, you know, I was just trying to, you know, you know, keep cool, see what happens. As time passes on, it's getting more and more intense. I'm like, ugh. I gotta go. I'm pulling the plug. I tell Bobby bye and I head to my car. I live, I live about maybe eight minutes away, so I wasn't worried about getting home. I get in the car and at that moment I forget how to drive a car. I'm just looking at it like, what now? So now I'm at literally at a nine on a panning scale. This is this is terrible right now. I need to get home, but I don't know how to get home. Finally, I put the car on, and then for some reason I couldn't put put on the radio, so I was literally just hearing static the whole time. Okay, so finally, I'm ready to go, but now to the next problem. I'm lost. I live eight minutes away, so this should be very easy, but every street looks new to me, so I'm just panicking even more, and the static on the radio is making it worse, but honestly, I can't drive in silence. By the grace of God, I make a home. So I just go to my room, I try to avoid eye contact with anybody, I don't want to talk to nobody, I don't want to see nobody. So I tried putting on music, I heard that sounds really good while you're, you know, under the influence, but at that moment, it was sounding just staticky and just was not vibing with me at all. So I was trying to eat some food, you know, like, you know, waiting for the munchies. That didn't happen. I just felt sick and just disgusted myself. At that moment, I was officially immobilized. The only thing left to do was just to go to sleep. So instead of seeing, you know, nothing and maybe just having a peaceful night, mm -mm, my mind was racing the whole time. I was seeing different colors, shit was spinning. I felt like I was going through the universe and different dimensions. Oh, it was, it was a mess. Just, I was thankful that never was eventually over. And after that, I said I will never do edibles again. But we all know how that goes. Comment below about your edible experience, you know, positive or negative. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Till next time.